everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Welcome to beautiful, sunny San Diego, California. Today I am working with uh, an out-of-state client, obviously that lives here in San Diego, two very, very large dogs with very big dog reactivity issues. So obviously living here, super dog friendly in California, which is absolutely wonderful. I'm very, very excited to be here to get to work to help these guys out. However, having a 100 or 80 pound dog that's really big, very powerful on the leash, having them be reactive or aggressive towards other dogs can be an extreme big challenge for anybody. So today we're gonna go in, we're gonna get the dogs out individually, and then we're gonna get to work and we're really gonna walk through the process of exactly what's going on and how to help them from here. And you can just walk to the beach? Yep. Yep. That's awesome. Um, why don't we go maybe where it's flat over here and I wanna just see like your basic stuff with her. Good. Um, so when you go out normally, what do, you, what do you see? Like if you were to walk out and see another dog right now, what would be her normal reaction? Like focus, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's. I mean, let's because their obedience looks good. You normally like that's what I have to work on. Uh -huh. A lot of people have. A lot of people have the issues that that you're you're kind of struggling with, and they don't have any control. Right. Which they go like this. Yeah. You know, they're best friends. Mm -hmm. The lack of control and the the behavioral issues. But you have really great obedience, so um, we can get right into the behavioral work and go out and work with her. Sure. Um, so we'll just start with her. That way you don't have to rotate again. Uh -huh. um, so do you want to just go? We can maybe go up like oh, by that like little beach area um, and maybe just start off on this side and kind of, kind of creep into it. Yeah. So what I'm doing very quickly is I'm explaining to the dog owner the importance of clarity. The difference between work and play is so meaningful to the dog. When they can go sniff, when they can't sniff, and especially if you have a dog that's reactive, it's super important to understand the difference. So what I would do, um, and what I'm doing is kind of like gauging where you're at with her. Uh, what I would be doing is having a very binary like heel and break. Like I wouldn't let, so like when you go into heel and you want her to heel precisely and stay in position, I, w I would mark that. So you know, like, you know how when you say heel, I would mark it and don't let her disengage until you say break. Because what she's doing is, is like she's she's floating off, yeah. and then you correct, and she's floating off, and you correct. Where like I don't I don't want you to have to constantly do that. I would just make it extremely binary, where heel is heel, break is break, and there's there's no in between. I'm in between of what I wanted to do. Right. That's what's right. In my brain. That's what I mean. And so like if you if you yeah. slow it down a little bit, yeah. and you just teach like yep exactly, good. Because what happens is is like you said is you're in between. Yeah. So sometimes you care and sometimes you don't, but make it more consistent. Good. Good. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. You got it. But what I would do is like reward her verbally when she's in this heel to let her know like, yep, this is what I want. And then. That's what I want. And if I reward her, she's going to go forward. Okay. Okay. And then I would just give her a break. Good. Good. So see how much better that strip was versus before? <clears throat> just little stuff like oh, that. It's funny because I was going through it in my head and I'm like, just decide. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what I do is like, here, let me take it for a second. <clears throat> so what I do is you can stay right here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work her from here to you and I just wanna show you like a little bit more of like what I was doing. Break, break, oh girl, good girl. So when I do break, I make it really 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 break like so i like i let her be a dog and let her like kids let her disengage completely and then what i'll do is when i'm ready to like get her back to work and be super attentive again i'll uh i'll show her exactly what that means so if you heal it's okay sweetie heal ah heal good heal good heal ah Good heel. Good. Good heel. Good. Heel. Ah. 
up. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. Ah. Good. Yep. Good girl. Good. Good girl. So like, remember how you were saying if you give her that verbal break, she's gonna get crazy? So what I'm doing is I am rewarding her because I'm encouraging the behavior, positive reinforcement, but I'm not doing it in the woo up here. I'm good girl, like that. Okay, break. Good girl, good job. So you don't have to do it that binary and that like high or low, but it would definitely help her. Yeah, yeah, because like, I said it before, when you, when you came from your house to that one little strip, it was, I care, oh yeah, I care again. I care, and then she's like, make, like you said, like you can't make up your own mind. So if you do that in little increments, because she's really good, you've done an absolutely fantastic job with her, but just make sure that you just switch it on and off, because that way, you take it super serious when you're asking her to do something or a task or a job. So that way, when you see a dog up there, getting pulled around and you're like, okay, here we go, right? You can tell her work time. And there's, there's no question about, can you pull, can you not pull? My expectation of what I just showed you and what you can obviously do with her and what you've created, I didn't, was very clear of no, no, no. When I stop, you stop. When I turn, you turn. When I say heel, you, you don't pass my leg. And I made it very clear. And I only, I, I don't even know if I did correct her. I think she was like, got it, done. So that, so now moving forward, when we enter a situation or an environment that she could potentially have, you know, have the influence of the envir environment to so say, hey, who are you? What are you? You can then say, uh-uh, remember what we did? And it's very clear instead of gray where it was 10 minutes ago. So just make it extremely clear. So if you work on it, like there's a dog. So like if you were to work on it in little increments, and then let her be a dog. Like now she's on her break, so, but when I, when I ask her to do it again, I'm gonna be really strict about it. And you only have to do that, so a lot of people will say, why, why would you ever have to do that with your dog? You don't have to do it all the time. You just have to do it with an 80 pound, strong, potentially reactive dog that you don't want. We're putting her into a situation where she's gonna be successful instead of a gray area of like, I care, I don't care. So, so all I want you to do is I want you to just practice that really quick just what i just did very black and white um and then work on your reward based system without getting her too crazy into a break like before when you said if i if i reward her like that she's gonna think it's over give her that like good girl like practice that so that way she knows yay i'm doing it without getting too stimulated for her to say okay we're done so i want you to just practice that right here do your thing and then um we'll try to go over there and see See how we do on the other side. Good. Beautiful. And that's where you can start marking that like a little bit more. Like good. No, like good, like rewarding that. I'm sorry. Yep. So you can start rewarding that like I was talking about before. Good. And then right there, like good sit. Good. Because what's going to happen is, is when the other dog comes out, you have to present some sort of value in the situation or the equation. Because that's pretty much what the other dog is going to be, is a reward. So like there. So see how she completely disengaged? Yes. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have let her do that. You Let her now, but in the future, that's what we were talking about because you have to you have she to can do here but she still has to be her eyes on me and she's totally checked out because she's right and she cut in front of you which is not okay any any like classical heel yeah, yeah. so like you, here's what i want you to like think about here but she still shouldn't trip me right yeah. and, and completely because yeah. i want you to think about it like this this post is is similar reward like and when it's i talk yeah, exactly yeah. so i want you to think of like this is like almost the same thing as a dog 
as a reward system. Yeah. And reward doesn't necessarily mean that she like likes it, it just means that she wants to go there. Mm -hmm. So make sure that, that that was exactly what I was talking about. Sure. Is like you had her in a heel, even over there on the tracks was, was awesome because um, you, you checked her, which was great because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll go wham, 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 wham. Right. But what you did is you gave her an opportunity to say, I remember, and she came, oop, she came yeah. zooming back. That was absolutely beautiful. Sure. Um, then when you came over, she went right there and she caught right in front of you. Yeah. And if I didn't, if I hadn't highlighted it, you would have probably not have seen it. And then you would have went on and then she's going to go, wait, am I in a heel or am I not in a heel? So just make sure that you're being aware of, wait, no, I, I, I said time out, which means you can't just get up and walk away. So um, just be aware of that. This is going to be episode number one out of four of the two day process we spent here in San Diego. So if you haven't yet, turn on your bell notification thing here on YouTube so you don't miss any of the progress with these two dogs. I think what happens a lot of times when a dog goes through a traumatic experience, a lot of times it's shared with the owner. Sure. So a lot of times they piggyback off each other. Mm -hmm. So you, in your mind, you're like, wow, it's changed or, 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 or you're expecting this change or you're almost anticipating this change because of the event. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's also in your head too. So you treat the dog a little differently or you act a little differently. Good, so here, let me, let me see her for a second. Good, yep. Okay, break, break, okay. Oh, but I missed it. No, that's okay. Listen, if you were uh, really great at it, then I wouldn't be here, so, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through like what I would've done. Um, so when the, when the dog, okay, cool, why not? Good. Ah, ah, heel, ah, heel, sit. Good. I'm gonna be really tight on her really quick. Heel. Ah, ah. Ah. Heel. Good. 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 Ah, ah, sit. Good girl. <clears throat> so here's what, I, here's what I did differently and I was gonna explain it to you before we had an opportunity to actually do it. So, um, it's much like practicing right before you go and do the big game. It's like vocal co coaching before you go on stage. What happened was is I had an opportunity. I said, okay, there's a dog coming. It's gonna happen pretty much all day. So I'm gonna tune her up really quick, like really tune her up. Because the, what you were dealing with before was, was not nearly the same. And she was ahead of me. I couldn't. I but she was, she was on a break all the way down, yeah. which is totally fine. You, want, you want to give her that break? Thank you. Um, but what I did is I, no. does he bite? They all bite. So uh, uh, basically what, what I did is I, tu I tuned the dog up like super, super quick. I said heel and, and she was right on me. So what that did is it, it engaged her where she was like, holy, why are we? And then so she was so focused on me because she didn't want to make a mistake and get a correction or get punished. Right. So then that way she was tight on me. And then when the other dog came, she was like consciously, she was with me. Her mind may have been on the other dog. I, I'm okay with her looking at the other dog. I think it's unrealistic to say. But she was still holding her. Stay with you. She, she was pinned on me too. Yeah. So she was. So she was almost like, I don't want to mess up, but I want to look at the dog. Right. Right. I'm okay with that for for right now because she obeyed everything. Because right. I didn't have a, like a focus command, like look at me, whatever. Mm -hmm. So the the only difference was as I hyper tuned her up before it happened. And she didn't probably see the, I, we, Adam and I right, saw the dog right. first. Yeah. And so she was like, why, are you, why do you care so much, yeah, right? Yeah. And I was like, listen, this is, this is what you have to do. And then when the dog came, it was like, now it's, now it's the game time. Like, let's, let's test it. So that's what I would recommend. Um, Jesus, bless you. <laughs> that's what I would recommend when you see another dog to, and, and the other thing that I would have done, I would have liked to do if I had more space, turn around. Yes. Like come out, turn around really quick, and then turn around, and she's gonna be like, yeah. like all over me. Yeah. And then that way, when you when you come across the dog, she's gonna be engaged yeah. with me. So she sees the dog over here. Um, See, I would correct this. Here, there's a dog. Self, come here. Ah.